Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to move on with three one and a half minute rounds of white collar boxing as sponsored by King Boxing. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, our representing Combat Camp UK, Billy Lart. So three one and a half minute rounds of white collar boxing. Billy Lark, Combat Camp UK. It's Michael Wagstaff from the local TKO gym. And Lark will have a height advantage. But Wagstaff looks to negate that by getting in close and working his man. Wagstaff trying to force the pace, but Lark is elusive. Moves nicely around the wing, away from trouble. And again, Wagstaff trying to close the gap and land the blows, but look, Billy Lark not letting him. Good right hand from Lark on the defence there. And big right hand from Lark misses the target. Would have been a different story if it landed. And again, Wagstaff trying to hunt his man down. But Lark proving ever elusive here in this first round. Wagstaff occasionally gets through. And the man forcing the pace. So if you're looking to give the round to someone, you really have got to go to the red corner because although Blue was elusive, he wasn't throwing much back. Wagstaff doubles up the jab, and this time Lark comes back with his own lefts and rights. Looking to counter as he's backed up. And Wagstaff trying to stay on his man and keep the pace going and work. Lark Pops out the double jab, misses with the right hand. Nice right hand to the body this time from Lark. Wagstaff looks to use his own right hand to push his man back. And again, it's Wagstaff trying to force the pace. Lark proving elusive once more. Oh, nice right hand from Wagstaff. Most meaningful shot of the fight so far. And again, it's a familiar pattern here in the second. Mark, edge of the apron. Wagstaff trying to wear his man down. Meaningful except for that one right hand from Mike Scott. Take 
So third and final round, and it follows a familiar pattern after the first two. Good left-hand counter this time, though, from Lart as Wagstaff came in. And again, Wagstaff trying to force the pace, but Lart has proved elusive across this fight. And Wagstaff, although he's planted his feet, hasn't really managed to get the shots off like he would like to. And again, Wagstaff closes down nicely, but Lart throws out the jab, ducks and pushes away. And the clock's ticking now, and it's been a frustrating night for Wagstaff with the defensive skills of Billy Lart. I'd like to see Lart take more risks in this fight himself, offensively, but he's done a good job defensively, he's not been hurt. Whether he's won the fight or done enough for that is a different matter. I think maybe the judges will look favourably on the aggressive nature of Wagstaff's work. As the clock ticks down, and I think it will be a red win and a very hard works one. Well, we do have a unanimous decision in favour of...